Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great today. This design, it's not a Halloween design. It is an animal that sometimes people could ask you and why not you can try this way. I'm gonna show you. This is a, what? Yep, a squirrel, but it's a very cute one, don't you think? And this technique, you know, it's a technique that I made it before for other characters. And I think it's why not practicing. So yesterday, Jetuan, you know, we were chatting a little bit and, you know, she uh, showed me something she made out of um, this technique, I think. And, and I think it's like made me think, why not, you know, I should also play with that technique again and see. And, and I was thinking, you know, the squirrel. And this is a very cute, I love, you know, like it's chubby and I think it's a great size. We're going to practice also other techniques that are the long apple twist. Um, the other technique, how to make this cute type of uh, legs. And this is not necessarily a representation of, you know, like what is this um, squirrels they like to eat, like almonds or what is that? You know what I mean, right? So I was thinking another way, but this is the cool part, the colors, you know? Some people may just made it with different colors or just two colors or only one color. But playing with different color theme also can help this design to look like a squirrel. Um, so you will need, and this is um, something that you can play with 260 or 160. I use 160 Decomex that is in between a 160 and a 260. So if you don't have that brand Decomex, it's okay. You can try with a 260 and just make it soft, you know, and stretch it so that it's skinnier. It's a skinner, that's kind of the, the thing. Okay, let's start it. First thing, we're gonna use two balloons, five inch rounds. Yep, that technique is made up with five inch rounds. And white, if you don't have white, you can try with blush. That's another cool color for squirrels. Um, but white, it's another color that I notice squirrels on, you know, the chest, the cheeks. So. Now, look at all those pictures. <laughs> I was looking for kind of a squirrels that I can see out of with balloons. And I use all those squares there pretty much as an example or like influence, you know, to make this design. You're gonna blow your five inch round white. Good idea, stretch it so it fades it almost all the way. And then loose some air until it fits in the palm of your hand. Okay? Now, then you're gonna tie it close to the nozzle. Now, uh, you can even lose a little bit more of air if you uh, feel that it's going to be too hard to twist because what we need to do is twist it in three bubbles. So you tie it close to the nozzle, okay? So then you just need to um, do the same with the orange. Now, these balloons are both Decomex. I know I'm lo using lots of Decomex. One, because it's much cheaper and I'm okay with the quality. It's not really bad. Actually, I like it. Um, so this is a, a white, but it's a white, a pearl white, okay? So it may be a little bit less, you know, or harder to stretch it, but it works. I couldn't find the regular white five inch round. So you see, you have to be flexible and play with whatever you have available with you. So you can make your square pink and purple if you only have pink and purple, okay? Now you just inflate it all the way again, your five inch round orange and then, then loose the air until it fits in the palm of your hand and a little bit more just so then it's going to be easier to twist because we had to also separate it in three bubbles. Now you just need to squish the air, make something like here, like five finger long and this part you're going to twist it in half. So let's see. You're gonna grab this round part. I do it this way and I twist it in half. And doo -doo 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 -doo. now, when you are here, you have to just do the same with the other round. So, this may be kind of like the technique that you can practice, but with this technique, you can make a lot of different characters. So, when you are deep here, you can do this, twist it together, and boom. So, now, if you just only make it with only one, you can make an owl. Remember, we already, I will show you, you can make an owl, you can make also a, a what is this guy, Leo the Stitch. So those type of characters also are really good with only one. But if you use two, this is the cool part. You just grab them now and twist them from there. 
from this part. Just grab them and twist it. That's why you want your balloon soft and squishable. From there, it's not that tricky. So you're gonna end up with something like this. So just twist it like this. Okay, a couple times. Now you're gonna have something like this. Okay, the idea is if these two goes on top, and that's something you can do it with um, just rolling the bubbles. You know, the orange goes on top. And now you will see it's kind of like emptiness there, which is okay. It's not that it's not that bad thing because we're gonna cover those things in a moment. Okay, so you have something like that, and also this open, but you still have the nasals. So here you're gonna trap the legs. Let's do that. You're gonna use a 160 or 260 orange. I'm using the 160 Decomex. So this is like eight finger tail, and you're gonna start making like two or three finger loop twist 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 then you lock it then you make a two finger bubble pinch twist then you're gonna make like no more than three exactly finger long because then uh what is no more than two finger bubble pinch twist and then from here you look you're gonna just pass around and end up in here now it can be confusing because now myself i'm really confused but um let me see because it's supposed to be this and then this goes around or i think i i, I confuse myself you know why because it's just like this when you are here i'm sorry this is can be a little bit tricky but it's because why well, i i get confused myself so from here you make a loop like approximately four finger loop okay that is what I wanted to do. Four finger loop and twist it. So you're gonna end up with something like this. Look, I'm gonna show you. So when you are with this shape, this is the feet, this is the you know leg, you're gonna grab this part and make sure now, no more than three finger bubble, and then like one or two finger bubble, pinch twist. And you're gonna pass this part through this loop. Uh, this is a technique also that you can play for bunnies, for kangaroos, for a lot of different designs. This is kind of like a leg. Let's pay attention to this because it can be a little bit confusing. The cool thing is you practically going to repeat, but here you're going to squish. Then you're going to measure approximately, what is this? Three finger long from here all the way to here. Approximately three finger long, no more. Okay, and then you're gonna make two finger bubble, pinch twist, three finger bubble, no more, then two finger bubble, pinch twist, a loop that is gonna be the feet, but then don't forget we have to make the loop that is gonna be also part of the leg. So when you are like this, with the rest, you're gonna just go around and make a loop that is grabbing this part, okay? You have the regular leg, and then you're gonna have to pass this around and go through there. And then you just have to twist it with the feet again. It's like a loop. A little bit of pressure that will be good. The rest you just cut, and that's it. Now, if your 260 is not long enough, it's try with a 160. This is gonna be, I think, easier. Now put things in proper position, that means you're gonna end up with something like this. Okay, so you know, <clears throat> you have this. What to do? You have to trap that in between these bubbles. Yeah, so the belly goes, the white is gonna be the belly. You just go like this, pass this part and try it. Yep, so try it. Want and make sure you have their space to tie it so that can be a little bit tricky but it's not impossible just make sure oh, i wasn't tied it but i'm just have to tie with those nassles from the five inch round if this is a little bit open there it's okay remember guys things doesn't have to be perfect you just try and do your best the idea is that it's kind of trapping there now you have something like this okay now you can accommodate things the way you prefer but this is the idea okay now when you are here what else 
What else from here? Uh, you just need a second balloon orange. It can be a 160, it can be a 260, but you just have to what? Inflate it approximately eight, or seven finger towel. You can start measuring here like three finger bubble. Okay, another three finger bubble. Twist, 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 twist. Okay. Then that you can connect it right here, the center. Okay. Now connect it there. And you can now pass this all the way, like from the back, all the way to the front. Soft and squishable, give it some pressure, but pass it all the way to there. And then you just have to twist around and end up in one of the sides where the arms are gonna go, okay? So when you are there, you can always kind of like measure like the arms. So from there, you just go like three finger and then bend it. And then another two finger, you bend it, so it's kind of have that shape, bend it. Then two finger, and then you can make like one finger bubble pinch twist, another one finger bubble pinch twist, and another finger bubble pinch twist. So it's like three finger bubble pinch twist. So it's gonna represent like little hands that are meeting in the center, you know? Now, from that side, you just have to kind of do the same to the other side to the other arm so again three finger bubble bend it give it a bend in there and then another three finger bubble up and connect it all the way to this part that is under the cheeks okay so from there just pass this around connect things and twist around you have all these kind of like a left over so that can help you also to secure things you can also here end up with a little extra pinch twist if you want, but it's not necessary. It's okay, you don't have to. So with the rest, you just cut, you can save this part for um, your gumbo machines. Now pass this, kind of securing everything around. That's what I'm doing. And you can accommodate things in a moment. So now let's accommodate the shapes. You know what the way you want it to be looking at and now let's see this is the moment that you have something like this look you can always play with with the nose part you know you can make it dark brown or the brown that you're going to be using for the ears the tail and the nose can be the same color so let's see it's gonna be a 260 this is i think Wallatex, like inflated again a finger tail and you're gonna start making the little pieces for example the ears what i made for the ears is just two finger bubble pinch twist okay and then squish a little bit the air so you will have something like this like without inflating it's only two finger and stretching is gonna be longer this part without a stretching I mean and then twist 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 and then make another two finger bubble and cut make sure you are tying the 260 make sure you are tying the balloon because you're gonna gonna be using it so you're gonna use it all pretty much so you have this that's gonna be the ears then these ears are gonna be right here so you just have to pass it one bubble and remember it's kind of like just pass it through one side and then accommodate it the way you want it to be there by pressure you know those bubbles are going to stay there what else um it's that another this just a nose so it can be a small it can be just one finger bubble tied it just like this like a little bean you can make it more roundish if you want then cut leaving some long tip well kind of like three finger without a stretching say and this part the idea is you have something approximately for like 20 finger inflated approximately you can always lose some air because we're gonna make an apple twist all the way to the end yep so 
if you think this is, you know, remember, you can always avoid details, okay? So you have this piece, it's gonna be the nose. Let's pass it, look, I pass it down. Then I pull, I go around the nose and then it's not make you that too much pressure, but I'm gonna pull. And you can pass it all around the face or just around that loops that represent this part of the mouth. You see, something like this. So you have there the nose. You can always accommodate that pinch twist, that those bubbles, but it's something like that. Now, what else? It's uh, the eyeballs. Yeah, that's gonna happen in a moment, but um, we still have this part. So let's go with that brown. Um, you just need to make a long apple twist. So there are so many different ways. For me, it's a very easy. I have my wooden spoon. When I was at the Bling Bling Jam, I don't remember exactly what we were in the restaurant. And they give me these sticks, like from, you know, like Asian food. Oh, so you have these sticks that you can just use it also. But it's one only, you just have to break it and then you say, but I'm saving it because I wanna, this is still looking good for me, working great, my wooden spoon. So when I have this piece, you're gonna just put it there and push it, push it well, keep, you know, like, squishing and all the way to the end when i get to the end i'm gonna try to grab the nasty well i tied the balloon you know from the inside from the inside i'm going to grab it and grabbing it now i know i feel it you will feel it this is your spoon you take out your spoon but make sure you're holding that part so then that can get you know and very nice and gentle you take out your spoon that is awesome. It worked out. Now you twist that part secure and then you can grab a balloon scrap if you prefer. Or if you have more space in between this connection, you can tie it with there. But I don't. It was really hard for me to tie down this time. And so I just grab a balloon scrap. Uh, you know, we as a balloon twister, we always have balloon scrap. So don't think, oh, this is too old. another balloon. No, grab your balloon scraps. Doesn't matter the color. Yeah, but if you have one that is the same color that you're using already, great. Tie it two times, you have this connection. It doesn't have to be even that long. Something like that, it's okay. So just like this, look. Just like this, you're going to attach it. You know where it goes? It goes right here. I'm gonna just make sure this, it's the back and I just grab it, pass it in between so it's gonna be easier and then attach it to the side, pull, pass this around, doesn't have to be too tight because the thing is later the pressure is gonna be, be you know hanging things there, you just put it like this, look, and then just accommodating, hiding it in the inside. Okay, you can make it more tight if you prefer, maybe I should, but I'm just gonna play with what is there. So I just have it like this. Now let me put things better, because it's gonna be these legs a little bit more up, and then it's gonna be more tighter. Again, you can always, at the end, remember, I know I've been you know, telling you sometimes, you can glue dot, glue dot but, you can always have it there for a pressure it's going to stay there um the another way if you have a longer um what is another what, 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 scrap you can always tie it around you know this part but when you have that the good thing is then you can just hold it and play with the shape of this design and it's going to stay that's the cool part about using this technique look so it's going to keep you know this um, idea of a square. You can play with different uh, angles where you want the head to be looking at and that's okay. But I think if it's in one side, this is the back. I usually don't play much with the back. Uh, I don't pay attention much to the back, but I love, for me, it's the front. And you see, even the side, and it's looking for me like a very cute square. Now, you can always accommodate things, but let's just go to the last part. What is the last part about this design? It's going to be the eyeballs, the black eyeballs. And this is just a balloon scrap. Look, 
I'm using this. Let's do that. It's gonna be just a very small one finger bubble. Twist, 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 twist. And I say twist because it's gonna be better if you twist, 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 twist. It's gonna be easier, baby. You just then tie it with another finger bubble. So it's, a, it's two bubbles, you know, small, twisted, very well on the sides. You can make an apple twist like this. And the thing is that look, it's like a soft and squishable there in the middle. Because you twist, 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 twist. And you have to introduce it that way in between. So one eyeball gonna go through and the other one is gonna stay. But that type of pinch twist connection is gonna also help with the bubbles and you will see. I'm gonna put things in proper position. But that's pretty much the idea. Now, look at that. <laughs> it's kind of like a silly face. Um, you can make it, I think that's good, it's not that bad, um, you can always make things your own way, play with that, I'm just doing the way I think it's cute, or it does how it came out for me, just play with the nose, the nose is kind of like, oh, maybe too big, maybe, so, this is the idea, uh, everybody that is going to see this design is going to say, wow, this is a square, of course it's a square, it is a squirrel. Some things I'm doubting here is this tail that I think this is the best way. You know, if you have a 350, of course, but I'm trying to use the same balloon I'm using for all this because I save the balloons that way. Um, you can always, you know, this find a better way if you glue dough it, but it's gonna then lose, you know, the encanto, <laughs> the charm about this design. The idea is you keep the legs all the way to the center and with the pressure it's gonna stay there okay i hope you like it please tell me in the comments what do you think if uh if you are able to make it don't forget tag me uh share it in the comments um i would love to see you know how this idea you know works for you um i kind of like now thinking oh man i wish you know that kind of stay and it's not a stay in that tail that well i mean this one stays perfect it's also play with the amount of pressure but um it's okay i think it's gonna stay there look even if it go for one side i think it's okay another good thing i did to this design to make it look cute and adorable and super awesome it's uh, very easy with sharpie i noticed if i make the eyebrow the um, eyebrows i think are eyebrows or eyelashes you know you just kind of like were there and then just put some hair coming that way like the same this way okay that can be another idea some something like this why not can give it some you know like style let me let me see you can make the squirrel I mean the the little food. This one is chubby, right? Like the one, this one that I just made. Um, another thing I noticed in here. Let me see. Maybe this can go a little bit lower. It can, you know, you can accommodate things. But I think that's look. Sometimes you have to play with the design and and play with the basic characteristics you want to show to this design and whatever is there. You know there's gonna be even that if it's not exactly the way you want it i think it's gonna be like recognizable as the animal but i think this is a very good way i like it yeah look it's like sitting standing it's very cute you can play with that uh, way where this design is gonna be you know have these cute little legs it's kind of like yes there Okie dokie, I hope you like it. Tell me in the comments what do you think. Uh, Jetuan, thank you for, uh, you know, message me. Thank you for um, sharing with you the picture. I think it was a very cute penguin. Um, if it's okay with you, I would love to share the picture um, in my next uh, video. So just please confirm because I, I forgot to ask you if I can share the picture of your design. Um, so there you go. Um, yes. Okay. 
Have a wonderful day. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. And on the description of all my videos, you will find ideas how to collaborate with this channel. Because thanks to you, collaboration, like donating money on my pay Venmo, PayPal, or sending balloons, or buying something from my Amazon wish list, or what else? Sending something to decorate the background. You know, it's totally, you know, very well appreciated. It's helping a lot. How we make that thing? Okay, let's keep going. How we make this, the almond or what he's eating. Almonds, what he likes. Well, I don't know. But you just play with 160s. I play with this is a toffee color. The thing is, the more color you have, the variety of colors, it's going to look better. And, and not everybody had those colors. So you can play maybe with some yellow and brown um i have here like 160s this is blush maybe you can try with blush so that's the thing you need uh, i found a little scrap i don't have any more those balloons so i'm just counting with the scraps and you just play just look this color is perfect just a little bit and on top i'm gonna make with a dark brown and if you have a dark brown that will be awesome i found this brown but it's, it's still, you know, like a mocha color, but for another brand, it's a little bit darker. So what I did, and this is going to be, you're going to make three, four pinch twists, like very small. One, and two, three, and one on top. One on top that is a little bit bigger. So whatever is this leftover, just use it. Okay, so as a big pinch twist on top. So you have this, look. And then, remember this little thing is going to go all the way here. And you can make like just a one or two finger bubble. Go up with the one or two finger bubble. And then you can end up with another one or three finger bubbles. Okay? And pretty much that's the idea. Remember, thing doesn't have to be perfect. If you have here some little extra tip, you just pull and pass it around these little hands. So that's how it's going to be connected. Um, so that's what I'm doing, this guy. And I just distribute this pinch twist. The three small dark brown pinch twists are going to be on top, on the side, something like that. Let me show you. So it's going to look something like this. And again, it's optional. You don't have to. But it's going to look like he's eating uh, or, you know, just grab one of those. What is? I don't know. I don't know. I remember what is this an almond? What he likes? Almonds? Ah, oh, the guy, the nut, the nut. It's a nut. Yeah, he's had a nut. <laughs> okay, for the nutcracker, I, I start to remember. So this is the idea. This is a design. Make it better, of course. And don't forget, tag me. Tag me on Instagram or Facebook as Alpaca Global. Okay. Um. I'm trying with two sixties. The thing is, this time I was trying to save a loom, but at the same time, at the same time, using you know as many as I think I consider. Okay, this is cute. This work great. This is what I wanted to you know represent. So that's that's my first intention. Okay. Um, remember, things doesn't have to be perfect. You just try, do your best, and that's it. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Have a wonderful day. Ciao, ciao.